Okay, the purpose of this video is we want to show you how to solve a couple of common problems on the startup of a laptop. And it has to do with a SATA setting not being set properly. We're using a Dell Latitude E6410 laptop, but this will happen on many of the newer models. If you go to start up your laptop and you get this screen saying launch startup repair or start Windows normally, and if you have trouble getting past this screen, in the launch Windows normally mode, we'll show you now what that does. It'll just sit and re-loop right back to that screen. The problem is that the SATA setting in your system bio setup is not properly set. So all it'll do is sit there and every time you try to restart it, it'll come right back to that screen hung up in an endless loop. Okay, in order to change the SATA setting, you need to enter System Setup or System BIOS in your laptop. Most Dells, in order to do that, you power on the screen, or power on the laptop, and in the case of a Dell, you hit the F2 button. During the startup mode, a little message will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen that says, hit your F2 key to go into System Setup. This is the system setup screen. Now, in order to change the setting that could be causing your problem, you're going to go down to system configuration, and under that is SATA operation. On the right-hand side of the SATA operation screen are some settings. Your system needs to be set in AHCI. None of the other settings. It has to be AHCI in order for you to start and get into Windows. So you change it to AHCI apply. and apply and then exit. Don't stop. And then let it go and it'll start up and now this time it's going to go into Windows properly. You're get that same menu. After that menu but it will actually come out of it this time. Now one other thing that can cause you to have this problem, if you were to ever go into your system setup and load the defaults, the default setting might not be that proper SATA setting. So if for whatever reason you went in and loaded your settings, it would not work properly because you have to manually set that to AHCI. Now you'll see this time after we change that setting and we hit go into normal Windows mode. The laptop is starting Windows and getting ready to launch. And there you go. So again, it's a simple note, but something that uh, you need to be aware of if you ever incur that problem. Sadie's setting has got to be set right.